What game is that, Henry? That is a big mess. Welcome back, neighbors, to another daily adventure. I'm Declan Henry. Milo's over there. We help you to adventure always by putting out these daily vlogs on YouTube. If you're new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button. Consider joining this community of adventure makers. And if you already are a neighbor, welcome back. So if you've been following along, you know that yesterday we were at the zoo. The day before that, we did a run to Aldi. And getting out of the house two days in a row was quite a success. Today, Erica has a car. So we are home. Today's going to be a home adventure. I have an idea idea of something I want to do. But first, we're gonna play some ladders and shoots, as Henry calls it. What? The ice cream place. Ice cream place, Henry, it's really cold outside. Who has a car? We don't have the car. Mommy has the car. I want to go with the <laughs> What's with the dramatic hand gestures? Okay, you wanna play shoots and ladders? Okay. Way far way right here. And where do we have to go? How do we play this game? You have to get up there? Okay. Yep. What do we do with this? We spin it? Okay, you go first. Milo's just like, what's going on, you guys? <laughs> All right, three. Where are you going? Wow, that was fast. Can I... Okay, now we're switching. Well, that lasted long. Milo, this new onesie of yours is a six to nine month size. You're only three months old, Milo. You can't, you gotta slow down. We're not gonna have any more clothes for you. Uh, he's a, he's a shaker, he's a big boy. Henry, I have an idea what we can do today. Do you wanna make your dolphin costume? Yeah. Yeah? I'm blue and white. Yeah, dolphins are blue and white. I don't know how to make a dolphin costume either. So today's adventure will be constructing a dolphin Halloween costume without the aid of Google. <laughs> I'm gonna just go from scratch. Yeah, we're gonna turn this hat into a dolphin mask. Yeah, you'll see. I, I know what a dolphin. Okay, yeah, show me what a dolphin looks like. Is your brother a little bit dramatic, Milo? That's what a dolphin looks like. You put it on. I'll put eyes on. Oh. This may be a little bit harder than I uh, than I anticipated. What's that? Oh, yeah, don't careful. You keep that away from your hair. Remember last time it got really tangled up in your hair? Oh, some uh, new developments on more on him. Not only is he getting bigger, he's getting you can kind of see he's getting a little bit fussier too. Most of my day is just this now, wearing him and just bouncing and trying to like keep him calm or or pacing around, just walking around like this. And this guy gets all upset and mad because I'm paying a lot of attention to him, trying to get him settled down. And then he starts acting up like, like earlier. I still want to make this dolphin costume. I just need to find a moment where I'm not strapped to a baby. <laughs> all right, this is like the first free time I've had today without Milo attached to me. Well, that's not true. I tried to record this segment earlier and it just, it didn't go well. What's down the line? Henry, oh my gosh, buddy. Henry. Oh, I was working on Henry's dolphin costume. I was thinking like, take this hat, put these like eyes on it, and then Ben, I think that can fit there. I just gotta figure out how to like attach it. Today, I, I just wanted to talk about the long run. Being a parent, I'm always thinking short term. How do you get through the day? How do you get through the week? When's the next bottle feeding? When does the next diaper change? Like you, your your timeline is shrunk to, to just the most important eminent things. That sometimes you forget the, the long run. What is the, what is the goal? And we're getting really close here to approaching 200 daily vlogs, which have just flown by and just got me thinking about okay what, what's the next chapter because I've been kind of really looking at this project in different chapters you had the first hundred which was just getting used to daily vlogging waiting for Milo the next hundred really are then adjusting to this new life with Milo now what's gonna come next what what what's what's 200 to 300 look like Erica is gonna 
to start interviewing come December, January, February. She's going to start interviewing for different jobs and positions. To kind of explain, if, you, if you're kind of new here, Erica is a pharmacy resident. She's not guaranteed a job there at the end of the program. It's more of a, a training program. So she has to go out. She has to interview and find uh, real jobs. Now, the problem is in Pittsburgh, there's not many opportunities for the type of pharmacy she's doing. And so we, we have to look elsewhere. We, we're hoping to stay in Pittsburgh, but it might mean compromising the type of job, the type of position, the type of responsibilities that she wants. And she's put so much work, so much training to get to where she is right now. You know, this decision that we make in the coming months, in the next hundred days, is going to impact our, our family. You know, it's going to depend if we uproot, if we settle here, if we have to settle elsewhere. Like, that's a big thing. And and so we're going to be think. I'm on my mind, I'm going to be thinking long term. What, what do we want for for our family, what are our goals? What do we want out of this whole, whole experience? I don't know yet, I don't know yet. Somebody pooped and needed changing, so. <laughs> but no, I wanted to, to uh, wrap up with you neighbors uh, with, with a challenge. I, I wanna know, how do you view long-term? Is it one year, is it three years, is it 10 years down the line? How do you look at your life now and imagine what it could be sometime in the future? And then what do you do about that? Do you make a list? Do you try to figure out different goals? Do you just be like, eh, I'll figure it out someday? I'm curious how you approach long-term planning because i'm very analytical i like to think things through and over and over again sometimes i take a long time to make big decisions sometimes i just avoid trying to make big decisions i want to know neighbors if you can just leave it in the comments below i want to know how you view long term do you even plan long term or you just go with the flow your brother's gonna wake up soon okay let's uh let's do this yo henry what's what are your long-term goals how about you, Milo? What are your long-term goals? It must be incredible being a kid and just waking up and just having the day ahead of you and not even thinking about long-term plans or any of that. Just waking up and making it an adventure. Neighbors, thank you for coming along our adventure. Don't forget, adventure always sees you again tomorrow for another adventure. Do you want it? Here you go. Yeah. Do you want it? No.